Sure, you're familiar with chess, but what about laser chess? And you know dodgeball, but did you know that you can play with burritos for a fun food fight? Which of these nine games is gonna be your new favorite? Let's find out. All right, Sarah, looks like we've got laser chess. Nice, which is of course chess with frickin' laser beams. Yes, it is. And uh, this is very similar to regular chess in the fact you've got a board, two players, uh, but in this, you're actually using lasers. It comes with like two opposing like lasers right here. It also comes with some reflecting mirrors that you can position 90 degrees or move one space. And it comes with some defenders. Now you're playing with lasers here. That seems kind of dangerous. They're not gonna cut you in half, right? They won't cut you in half, and I'm not really an expert at this, so why don't we uh, look at some gameplay? Seems like a good idea. I think I'm going to move this way. So now you hit your laser? Now I hit my laser, and it's coming out here. I think I wanna move this way. Pew, 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 pew. It's over here now, I'm gonna do this. Well, you just lost. I just do this. King is dead. Good game. Well done. All right, Sarah, what if you've got more than two people? Uh, what kind of game do you play for that? Mm, how about dope or no? Have you ever played Apples to Apples? I have. I love Apples to Apples. It's kind of like that, but YouTube style. So it's based off of the YouTube channel, Dope or Nope. You play Apples to Apples style where you have a couple different cards where you make combinations and there's a judge that gets to decide if they like your combinations. Can you give me like an example of what like some cards might be that you might acquire? Candy Couch. Candy Couch. Is that dope or do you think that's nope? I mean, you could basically like sit on your couch and eat your sorrows away and never have to leave. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty dope. Maybe we should actually watch some gameplay and uh, and see how it's actually played. Sounds like a plan. It is my turn to be okay, the Okay, you, a magician. What is a, a magician? A magician, okay, so pick a product for a magician. James, sell me what you got. You have hot dog and hairspray, what is that? So it's a spray bottle that when you spray it, it spreads out hot dogs. I have a bacon camel, so they can just bring a camel in and he'll eat some parts of the camel and it'll amaze the, <laughs> amaze the crowd. What? My product is a soda that when you pour it on yourself, it makes ma makeup appear. <gasps> Spraying hot dogs is the closest to a magic trick, so James, you have no, to go for makeup! What are you talking yes, about? Yes, 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 yes. Sarah, I have a sense you're gonna like this next game. Did you say sense or sense? I said sense, but uh, it is what is that smell? This is a game where you have to uh, identify basically what the smell is. It's as simple as that. So it could be anything like a nice leather couch or it could be like vomit, right? <laughs> right. Ooh, that smells like a fresh load of laundry. This might be a uh, laundry detergent. Is it? Oh yeah. Did you get it right? It is detergent. As you can see, I got it right. Five points if hmm. you get it right. Three points for anything close. So like fresh laundry or soap would be close. And one point if it's something in the category. So all things chemical would work for that. You also get um, whiff of shames, like this uh, smothered and BO card right oh. here. Which smells like somebody did not take a shower. Well, my sniffer's pretty sensitive, so I'm really glad we don't have to play this game. Let's watch somebody else play it. Yeah. You're Very confident. so quick. Yeah, Very confident. confident. I know what this is, but I'm not sure what they're gonna say it is. I, I think it, it's a spice that goes in something, but is it the something they want or is it the spice? Oh, I know that smell, but I can't think of it. Some kind of spice that I've used in the kitchen. Gosh, I know what that is. I'm just gonna be super general and put down spices and hopefully I'll get some kind of umbrella point for that. This one's definitely cumin, but cumin is one of the main ingredients in chili. So is it chili? Did anyone say chili? Oh yeah! Chili powder! <sighs> chili? It just says chili, I'd accept chili powder. Once again, I have lost. <laughs> <laughs> I just wrote spices because I couldn't think of the specific spice that it smelled like. Okay, Drew, smothered in B.O. is your punishment. That smells like a zoo exhibit. 
That is terrible. Well, that game stinks, but in a good way. That pun was stinky. I thought it was sweet, but if you want a game that has a lot less rules and is a lot more frantic, we have Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. This game is insane. It's a huge brain buster where you have to say taco, cat, goat, cheese, and pizza all in order while laying down a card. If you happen to say the word that matches up with your card, you gotta smack that card. And the last person to smack the deck, well, they gotta pick up the pile. And your goal is to get rid of all of your cards, so you don't want to be the last person to slap that pile. Sarah, probably the best way to see and understand this game is to just play it, because it's way more fun. So let's watch it in action. Taco. Alright, cat. Go. Yeah. Kara's speedy. Taco. Cat. <laughs> like sometimes really? you just watch it happen like mail. Oh, right. Sarah, if you're in the mood for more of a solo thinking game, I'd recommend Gravity Maze. Gravity Maze? Oh, I love that one. It's like you have this marble and you have to get it from point A to B using all sorts of different columns, making it go forwards and backwards and up and down. There's 60 different challenges, anywhere from easy to expert, and I really want to see you play it, Adam. You know what? I kind of like logic games, so uh, why don't I just unbox this and give it a shot? So I have to incorporate a blue and two yellows to make my marble run through this maze. I have to start here and get to here. Maybe I can do a piece like that, running like that. Do I have it figured out? I don't know. Maybe if I stack that there, and I think I'm good to go. Let's find out. It's pretty good. Let's see if that's the answer. That is in fact the answer. I can do a beginner one. So yeah, um, that's Gravity Maze. It's pretty cool. We've got Jishaku up next. This game has all of the things you need for a game of skill. It's got magnets, all the things that I know you care about so deeply. I love all of this, yeah. Really, you have 18 magnets that you're trying to fit into the little divots on the board, but you have to be careful with the polarity. So if you've got two magnets close to each other and they touch, you lose. So you gotta be really, really careful with how you're placing your pieces. Well, Adam, since you're the master of magnetism, I'll throw this one to you. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh! Dang it! Shouldn't have been so cocky. I was really cocky. All right, I'll take these. These are mine. Yeah, good move. All right, I'm gonna go coward cowardly. Okay. Classic corners. <laughs> this is probably the game-winning drop right here. Can't get too cocky. All right. Oh. Mm. It's in. You can be doing so well, and then Seems like it should be easy. But it's really tricky. It's really hard. Good game. Sarah, if you're looking for a little bit of collision with your gameplay, then I've got the game for you. Throw throw burrito. Oh, I love this game. It's basically dodgeball uh, meets card game. It's pretty sweet. You've got these squishy foam dodgeball burrito things here. It's like a card game where you have to uh, get three of a kind. And uh, if you match any of these interesting cards, like three burrito brawls in your set of cards, um, you have to do a little burrito brawl with your opposing player. And these little dodgeball burritos are not painful. I would know, I chucked one at your face for the product shot and you were just fine. So let's throw to that gameplay. In a war, everyone else goes to war. It's every man for himself and it can get pretty crazy. For a burrito duel, you get to pick any two players and have them walk three paces and turn to fire. So get ready for a heated game of throw throw burrito. Three, two, one, burrito. Oh snap Adam, check out our next game. This game is a lot of fun. It's pretty intense. Basically what you're doing is you're pulling different colored pieces out which are all worth different points. And you have this tension bar right here that if you uh, pull the wrong piece out, will cause it to snap and you'll lose the game just like that. The game's kind of like Django where you have to pull specific pieces at very strategic times to make sure that it all doesn't come crashing down or I guess snapping up in this case. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, let's let's take a look. I Go. think this one right here is coming out. Oh! Oh! What? I'll try it, but this is probably gonna move it. Oh! That snap sound is just 
Ah. Next up, Sarah, I've got a favorite game of mine. This is Happy Salmon. So everybody has a set of cards that they call out the actions on their cards, and if they're able to get those actions like a high five, then they get to drop their card and keep going. So you can get a high five, a pound, a switcheroo, or a happy salmon, which kind of looks like that. Now the fun thing about this game is everybody is trying to get a match with somebody else, so there's a lot of calling out and a lot of yelling involved while everybody's trying to get their own match. There's a lot of high fives that go on high five. So you just kind of stand there like this for a while and hope you can make friends. It's a high paced frantic game full of fun and action. Let's check it out. One, two, three, flip it. High five, 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 no matter how many people you're playing with, with all these crazy games, Everyone's a winner. Buy all these games and hundreds of other gifts at bat19.com. Sarah, let's happy salmon out of here. Oh, oh, shoot. Sarah, you didn't leave. Sarah, leave. Leave. Nah, I'm good. Bat19.com.